This is the land I promised your people, remember? Take a good look, Moses. You see it? Yes, yes, of course I see it. It'd be wonderful to finally set foot there after all these years of travel. No, no, no. See it. See it. Because that's all you're gonna do. Time for you to die. But, but I, I, I did everything thou wanted. And, and I'm still as healthy as a horse. I, I, I even just climbed up this mountain. Oh, good. Then you can dig the hole. It's time for me to bury you. But, 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 but nobody will know where my grave is. But nobody will know where my grave is. It's not my problem. But, but we are the only two here. Yeah, so? So who the hell is writing this account in the Bible? Oh, hey, God, what's up? Thou wanted to talk it to me? Joshua, sadly, Moses has died of 100% natural causes. Uh, you're taking over and leading the people into the land I promised you. Cool? Oh, hang on a second. Okay. You're basically invincible now, so you never have to worry again. Okay, listen up everyone. God hath put me in charge, and he's finally allowing us to have the land he hath promised us. Only problem is, a bunch of people have been living on it their whole lives, so we are going to have to cross the Jordan and kill all of them. Cool? Remember, it's not me saying this, it's God. We shall do exactly as thou commandest. No matter what thou commandest, and anyone who doesn't comply shall be put to death! Because authoritarian regimes are really cool, and it's totally not like people are going to use the Bible as an excuse to impose their authority on people while claiming to love freedom. Jeffrey, give it a rest. Gotta admit, it's kind of funny though. The people who claim to love freedom are all about this book where the good guys will kill anyone who doesn't comply, as approved by God, the ultimate dictator. Dictator, freedom lover, what's the difference? Hey, isn't stealing against your commandment? Yeah, so? So wouldn't that include stealing land? Jeffrey, one person stealing land is wrong. An entire nation stealing land is just... conquering. It's cool. Oh. I see, so it's like murder. One person murdering is wrong, but an entire nation murdering is just war. Exactly. Then I suppose the lesson would be, if you want to do something that's wrong, just get everyone else to do it too. Wait, no. You... Jeffrey, it's my land. I decide who gets it. So I guess the precedent being set here would be, that if you want to do something that's indistinguishable from a massive wrongdoing, just say that God told you to do it, and then it will be okay. Right. Wait. I need thou to go spy on the city of Jericho. We need to know what we are up against. Didn't you just make Joshua invincible and even told him you did so? Yeah, but he's just being cautious. It's cool. Yo, Hawk, my lord. Uh, some of the Israelites have come to spy on us. At least, by my estimation, or what it's worth. How doth thou knoweth they are spies? I, I don't know. Is this just the sixth sense I got? Well, then why didst thou let them in? The plot requires it? Well, where did they go with? Look, there be a prostitute. An excellent place to begin spying. Hi, you fellas. I'm Rahab, the local prostitute of the wall. A Jerich. 
Oh, unfortunately, I'm not currently running any two-for-one specials, but I have great race on other things I can do for Thou, like a Jericho peep show, a camel hump rump pump, a swanky donkey. No, no, um, we're just here as spies. What the? Oh, good. Quick, get in here. Look. Obviously, they aren't going to come for thee, so thou better hide up on the roof. Yo! Bring out those spies who are in thy house. Spies? They were spies? Oh my! I did not notice that. I thought they just wanted a sticky quickie. See, they already left. Right out the main gate, just as it was being closed. If thou hurry after them, thou may catch them yet. So let us not tarry. We can still catch them, so say it the hooker. Wouldn't the guards at the gate who were in the process of closing the gate have seen the spies leave and thus know she's lying? Hey, didn't that lady just lie too? Yeah, so? Isn't lying against your commandment? Jeffrey, we already talked about this. It's okay as long as it's lying for me. Look, I know God himself gave it thou this land and that thou art about to roll in here and slaughter everyone, which is why they are all terrified right now. We all heard about God's Red Sea magic trick and about all the people thou slaughtered before. So, yeah, we're all terrified right now. So please swear to God that because I help thou, Thou will help me and spare me and my family when thou cometh to kill everyone. Fine, fine, whatever. Thou don't snitch, we don't kill thee. Agreed. Okay, here, use this rope to lower thyself out the window. Now head to those hills and camp out for three days. By then they'll stop looking for thee. Uh, when we cometh to kill everyone, be sure to tie a red cord outside thy window, so we know not to kill anyone inside thy apartment. Yes, we shall tell all 40,000 soldiers not to kill anyone in the hooker's place with the red rope in her window. Got it! And then thou could have a free spunky monkey on the house! Holy hell, the people of Jericho are utterly terrified of us. Yep. They are positively quaking in fear. <laughs> um, God? How the hell aren't we supposed to get across the river? Have your priests, I mean, my priests, uh, carry the Ark of the Covenant out into the river. I'll put a water shield spell on it so that it blocks all the water from flowing downstream and the entire nation will be able to cross on dry land. Um, God, won't damming up the river like that cause significant flooding? Not now, Jeffrey. Watch how impressed everyone will be with this magic, I mean miracle. Did you really have to flood a town so that people could cross a river? Well, what the hell else was I supposed to do? Dear God, you're literally omnipotent. Why couldn't you just make a bridge, ex nihilo? Or, or hell, you could make it so that they could all just walk on the water. <laughs> walk on water! <laughs> That's ridiculous, Jeffrey! <laughs> Listen to yourself! <laughs> Listen up, people. Today, you saw an amazing thing. You now know that God hath basically made us invincible and that he is willing to do great magic so that we can invade other people's lands and claim that their land actually belongs to us. Because God says so. <laughs> Correction! Uh, <clears throat> God did this so that the entire world would know how powerful he is, 
and so that you will always fear God. That's better. God, what kind of a benevolent entity wants people to fear it? I mean, aren't you supposed to be love itself? Why should people fear love? Well, because... Well, I mean... I want them to love me, sure, but... I also want them to do whatever the hell I tell them to do and to be terrified to disobey me. Sounds like a pretty abusive relationship to me. Okay, okay, I'll try to go a little easier on them, cool? Good. Glad to hear it, God. Yo, Josh! Yes, Lord? Gather up all the men, make some flint knives, and cut all the skin off the tip of their dicks. Oh, we are, t uh, doing that again? Yep. Won't that make the fighting more difficult, Lord? Uh, just stay in the camp until everyone is healed. God, why the hell are you so obsessed with dick skins? Oh, I'm making slippers. Dick skin? Slippers? Oh yeah, they're nice and soft. But, but when you want to go outside, you just give them a little rub, and they get hard and turn into shoes. Really handy. Yeah! Hail, soldier! Art thou for us or against us? Neither. I am... the captain of... the Lord's army. I have now come. What would the Lord have me do with... Uh... take off your shoes. My... shoes? Yeah! Off! Now! Uh, right away, my lord. What the hell do you want with his shoes? Haven't you seen them? Those are the latest old balance sandals. Yeah, so? So they're sweet! And I want to copy them for my dick skin slippers. God, look at how terrified the people are. So what? So, couldn't we just have them surrender rather than slaughter everyone? Well, what's the fun in that? Well, they're going to kill all these people, including the elderly and the babies. And they're going to do it, in your name, by the sword. Epic! Yeah, kill all the babies! God is totally pro-life, everyone. Yeah, I don't really know where they got that shit. Love me some baby killer. Why do they have to keep doing this whole ritual for seven days, God? Can't you just use your magic whenever you want? Miracles, Jeffrey. Not magic. Miracles. And it's symbolism. You gotta respect the symbolism. Also, it takes a while to cast my spell because I haven't been leveling up my faith and dexterity as much as my strength and vitality. Huh. Kinda counterintuitive. Oh, look, God, they're on the seventh time around. Time to do your thing. Remember, everyone, God hath given you the city, but all the valuables in it are to go to God, especially the silver, gold, and articles of bronze and iron. All that bling goes to God. What the hell does the omnipotent creator of the universe need with gold trinkets? I love me some precious metals, Jeffrey. You know that. Psyche 16. Uh, what? Psyche 16 is an asteroid between Mars and Jupiter. It has 700 quintillion dollars worth of gold in it. Not including other precious metals, that's enough to give everyone on Earth 100 billion dollars each. You created it! Oh yeah, I, uh, um, forgot about that. And it's not like the people around here in this time would know about it. Right. So naturally, why should you know anything about it either? Um, what exactly are you implying, Jeffrey? Did you also forget about the virtually limitless supply of so-called precious metals out there? Oh, uh, no. 
Then why the hell do you want to take it from slaughtered people, including their babies and elderly? Oh, it's sort of like the ancient equivalent of teabagging, I guess. What's teabagging, Lord? It's like what you do after you 360 no scope a noob in Counter Strike. Oh, uh, I I get it now. Okay, everyone, God is getting ready to collapse the wall, so remember to slaughter everyone and everything that lives, including women, children, elderly, and animals. All of them. Just don't kill Rahab the prostitute as per our verbally binding contract, which is valid in all 12 tribes in Puerto Rico, nor harm anyone in her house, which is built into the wall that's about to collapse. was a close one. The spine on this place has worked out pretty well, if I do say so myself, and I do. So, you guys go out again and spy on the next region. He literally did not need to spy on anybody since you made him unbeatable. Say, this is really nice. I'm sure God wouldn't mind if I kept just a couple things for myself. That son of a bitch! That's mine! Who cares? Just snap another one into existence ex nihilo for yourself. It's not about that. It's about the, the, the disobedience. Oh, they're gonna pay for this. Why they and not just him? He's the one responsible. They don't recognize individualism in this culture, Jeffrey. It's collectivist. So it's their culture that dictates how their god behaves, and not the other way around. Interesting. Very interesting. We are back. The next region is no biggie. There's only a few people there. We could take it with only two or three thousand troops. Everyone else can rest. Damn it, damn it, all the hell we are done for! They're gonna kill us all! They're gonna wipe us off the map now! God, why? What can we possibly do now? Uh, how many soldiers died? 36. And how many do we have total? 40,000. Wow, Joshua gives up kinda easy, huh? What are you doing? Get the hell up! Israel has sinned against me. They lied and stole my ship. That's why I made you lose, and you're not gonna win another battle until you get my ship back and kill the thief. Clear? Who among us dared to steal from God? I ain't telling you jack shit. You're gonna have to individually ask every single person in the nation yourself. But you're God. You know exactly who did it. No, I'm not telling. Next, number 30,582. Please step forward. Did thou taketh God's shit? Don't lie to me. Okay, okay, it's true. When I saw the plunder, I, I, I just couldn't resist. I took a beautiful robe from Babylonia and 200 shekels of silver and a wedge of gold. I, I, I hid them in the ground under my tent. Thank you very much. Okay, so now all is forgiven, right? He confessed. Maybe have him do some community service or... Stone him to death. Or stone him to death, okay. And after you stone him to death, stone to death all his sons, daughters, cattle, donkeys, and sheep, and then... Burn them all. 
along with all their possessions. Okay, so not only did you cause 36 soldiers to die over this, but now you're killing the guy's family who had nothing to do with it over a robe and some loose change. So once we kill this guy and his kids and burn them all, thou shalt let us invade and wipe out other nations again? Yep. No more killing until you kill that guy first. Kill his kids too! Don't forget to kill his kids! <laughs> the creator of objective morality, everyone. Now we can take the city of I without getting our asses kicked again? Yes. I'll hand it over to you now. And this time, I'll let you keep the loot. Just be sure to burn the place to the ground when you're done. Remember, kill everyone, even the babies. And thou art sure they won't beat us again? No, no, I told you, I'm handing them over to you, free and clear. They die. Handing them over? How are you doing all this without messing with everyone's free will? Well, who says I care about free will? Uh, everyone who needs an excuse for why you allow bad people to get away with shit? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they should try reading the Bible once in a while, huh? Oh, and Joshua. Yes, Lord? Remember, kill those babies. Kill the babies. Got it. Okay, God. We ambushed the soldiers protecting I, came back and slaughtered all its citizens. 12,000 people, everyone and I, dead. Babies too? Babies too. Good. God, if you wanted those people dead, then why the hell did you create them in the first place? For the fun of killing them, of course. What the hell's the matter with you, Jeffrey? Learn to live a little, will ya? Yeah, I will live a little. Very little if you keep this up. Okay, looks like Gibeon is next on the list of places to conquer. Pip! Pip, cheerio, fish and chips, chimney sweep. Who are you? Soy oi, right, isn't it? We have come from a really, really, really far away place. Nowhere near any of the places of thy promised land. Especially Gibeon, Pinky Swear! What dost thou want? To make a peace treaty with thee! Okay, but art thou 100% sure thou art not from around here? Because if thou art from around here, I'm sorry, but we have to slaughter all of you. And their babies. Right. And we have to slaughter all thy children, as commanded by the creator of objective morality. Now, our country is, uh, oh, a million miles to the north, and we just came because we heard about the ultimate badassery and how God is on thy side as well and all, so we figured we should make peace with you. Hmm. Very well. Thou haveth my oath. We promise not to slaughter thou or thy people. Very good, very good, very good. Now, we'll just be headed back home. Thanks, Josh. And we are off to conquer the Gibeonites! Hey, thou lied to us! We had to, but remember, thou made an oath. God, why didn't you say anything? You didn't ask. Man, I really wanted to slaughter all you people. Alas, thou art correct. I swore not to kill you all, so I shan't. Thy children shall live. Yeah, that does suck. Maybe I should have told him. So I'll permanently enslave you all instead. Yes! Okay, um, I guess that's better than being slaughtered. Israelites have now taken Jericho and I. No! Oh.
What's more is now I hear that the traitorous Gibeonites had made a peace treaty with them. Come, help me attack them for making peace with the enemy. Joshua, please help us! All the Amorites are attacking us for becoming thy ally! And it's all thy fault. Really? Um... All of them? Don't be afraid of them. I'm removing their free will so that you'll be able to defeat them. Easy. Come! Let us march all night and take them by surprise. Jeffrey, this is lukewarm. I wanted this on the rocks. Oh, I, I thought you wanted me to warm it on the rocks. No, idiot. Rocks. You know, ice. Ice. anything. God is killing them all. Lord, let them not escape under the cover of night. Stop the sun and the moon from moving in the sky so that it stays daytime. Whoa, that's a new one. No one has ever asked me to stop the sun and the moon before. Yeah, he doesn't realize that you'd actually have to stop the earth from spinning for that to happen. Stop the earth? Really? Yeah, God. That's what gives the sun the illusion of moving around the earth. That's why Joshua thinks you need to stop the sun uh, rather than stop the earth. Oh! Who knew? Uh, you should have known, since you're, you know, God and all. This area is about uh, 2,000 miles north of the equator, which means we're actually currently moving at approximately 900 miles an hour. So if we suddenly stopped... You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna stop the Earth. No! God, wait! What the fuck just happened? It's called physics, God. You may have stopped the Earth, but the atmosphere and everything not attached to solid bedrock ended up moving at faster than the speed of sound. Everyone is basically a cloud of red mist now, and now the Earth is a barren, lifeless rock! But... But... Uh, remember in Superman when Lois died so he reversed time? by flying around the Earth until it stopped and rotated in the opposite direction? So, so something like that wouldn't work? Okay, okay, okay. Do over, do over. Let's say it all starts... now! Let's say what starts now? Creation! You mean... Genesis 1? Oh, uh, is that when I created the Earth? Uh, yeah. Oh, which day was that again? Day 1. Cool, cool. Okay, we're on day 1, everybody. Nothing to see here. Totally day 1. <laughs> 